the most interesting comment was generally from the older people because they saw another Indonesian when they are doing the pilgrim. They think all Indonesian people has to go to Mecca to do the pilgrim, which is not true. I was graduated from high school in 2012 in, in June and after graduation I started to apply uh, to university as well in here in Indonesia but the test is quite hard I can say because I don't really prepare for that. Also I want something new in my life back then and, and the application process is quite easier than the test that I have to take in my own country. Since June, I already started to look up for some scholarship like throughout the world. There was like Russia, England, and um, and Turkey. Our our curriculum is quite quite old, so we thought like Turkey was quite uh, really uh, strict in Islamic way. The country is like in Arabian in Arabian style, you know, wearing the really long clothes but when I did some research and um, that was really like boom for me Turkey uh, is more modern than what it portrays in books or movies so I was apply the, the scholarship into Turkey and actually I couldn't get accepted in the government's uh, Turkish government scholarship but I also applied to a university scholarship and I got uh, accepted there so I came to Turkey in 2012 uh, directly to Istanbul from Jakarta I started to study in Istanbul Shehir back then uh, I was accepted in um, international relations but I couldn't really uh, satisfied with the <laughs> with, with the school because of the uh, department as well uh, so I, I decided to, to take the test again to another university, which is Istanbul Technical University. And I studied um, interior architecture there and I really satisfied what I meant and what I studied there. Uh, the duration of the university in Turkey can be uh, quite relaxed than what we ha used to have in our country. We are a really crowded country. A lot of students really <laughs> need to go to the university. So somehow the university forces you to finish your study for four years. So some challenges that I faced uh, during my study in Turkey was uh, actually I I quite really an active person. I like to do some activities, um, whatever it is, like volunteering or uh, doing some kind of events before when I was in my country. But in Turkey, somehow uh, the challenge quite quite really uh, quite really high because most of the practice and the initiative to do that. Uh, the local initiative, I mean, they are mostly conducted in Turkish back then. So after living in Turkey for quite some time, I started to pick up some uh, differences and I think I, I need some effort to adjust somehow because it's really, really different that, than what I used to in my country. Like for example, like Janumsun or uh, Adamsun kind of like that. I'm not really getting used to with that kind of words, but in, in Turkey somehow it's really practical. Everyone use it, even though not all people mean that what they say, but it's really uh, people say it one to each other, to another. Also, like Turkish people kind of can, can be really touchy when you are walking together with them. They can like link your, your hand to their hand. <laughs> so it was really weird actually in the beginning, but uh, somehow you're getting used to it. And actually it's quite cute, you know. <laughs> and now I am linked my hand to under my another friend. So I don't know why as well, but <laughs> that they changed me somehow right now. And also I think in Turkey that uh, the people really into the networking they like to mingle with kind of uh, important people, <laughs> we can say. They like to make a benefit somehow from you because you are a foreigner or because you work in a quite good position, we can say. The difference, I think, uh, the most straightforward was 
Uh, in Indonesia, I'm not sure this is um, what other people experience. I don't know, my parents doesn't really uh, force me to get in certain kind of um, position or kind of uh, field of job. The most important part is to be a good person. <laughs> that's really rhetoric, but uh, that's what my, uh, my family is really trying to teach the, the children. So whatever you are working in, just uh, the most important thing, you are being a good person. And because in the, uh, Indonesia is the most populated Muslim country as well, so they kind of like force you to be a good uh, believer as well. But that's really uh, different what I experienced in Turkey. I think the people really force you to reach something. There is like some su success that you have to reach. I was graduated last year, actually, during the COVID-19. But uh, normally I graduated in 2018, but somehow I extend because I had some jobs uh, there in Turkey as well. The thinking to, to stay in Turkey is quite, is really high for me because I'm still working for them. I travel a lot from Indonesia to Turkey and I know Istanbul better than my, my own city, Jakarta right now, for example. It started to feel quite hard to leave the city. It turned me into another person, I believe, because before I thought um, everything was black and white, you know, there are bad person and there are good person, but actually um, it's not, it doesn't work like that. Everyone can have the bad part and a good part in their self. If I got a chance to live my life in Turkey or to come back, I think I, I prefer to live in Istanbul for quite some time, so if I have a chance to do that during my young age, I guess, yeah. <laughs>